one thing you can see is from when I drained the gearbox, um, there's a bit of milkiness to the oil. Having checked over, there's nothing wrong with the gearbox and it also runs fine as well. Um, and a quick consultation with American Imports came to the same conclusion that I had, that all that needs to be done is just ensuring that the drive shaft seals are replaced. So there's two which sit underneath the water pump back to back and then two on the drive shaft itself. So I'm not going to replace the oil now. I'll wait for those parts to arrive and replace those when I do the impeller service. So as you can see, I'm just in the process now. I've got all six bolts out and have started removing the lower housing for the water pump. And as you can see as well, it's very obvious that that gasket has gone, which is part of the reason as to why I'm getting, I have got that slightly milky liquid coming out of the gearbox. So that's been ordered. I'm gonna get this off. As before, don't use a hammer, please. Just you gently use a window one, and just a light nylon hammer, and just keep giving it small taps until the thing eventually comes free. So now I've removed this bottom part of the impeller housing, you, it tells you a couple of things. One, you can see moisture on the inside of this gasket here. And two, if we look at the drive shaft, we can also see moisture in that well, as well as a small amount of corrosion around the drive shaft as well. So this is most the most likely cause of the cloudy fluid in the gearbox. It wasn't too bad, but that looks like what it is. So as well as the this gasket here, and as well as the drive shaft gaskets, which I'll be doing later with the propeller off, um, I will also replace this gasket on the bottom of the pump housing, given that it's now off and it's probably only a couple of pound part. It's quite a common mercury um, water pump this, which should completely resolve any ingress problems into that gearbox.